Today in the news, Texas's high court blocks Houston's plan to offer mail ballots and the city of Dallas's hospital capacity report. Today is October 9th, 2020, and this is Dallas Weekly News. Hello, I'm your host, Patrick Washington, and this is Dallas Weekly News. The Texas Supreme Court ruled Wednesday that 2 million Houston voters cannot receive unsolicited mail ballot applications from local election officials who are dramatically expanding ways to vote in November in the nation's third largest county, a key, uh, key battleground in Texas. The decision by all Republican court is the latest defeat in a string of losses for Democrats who whose efforts to change Texas voting laws during the coronavirus pandemic have largely failed. Polls show unusually tight races this year in, the Amer in America's biggest red state, intensifying battles over voting access. Texas is one of just five states not allowing widespread mail-in voting this year. Republican Governor Greg Abbott has released calls to expand eligibility in courts, and courts have sided with the GOP leaders who say fear of catching COVID-19 doesn't qualify voters for mail-in ballots. Abbott also continues facing lawsuits, including one filed Wednesday by the Texas NAACP over his decision that last week barred Texas's 254, 254 counties from operating more than one drop-off box per absentee ballot, which forced the closure of dozens of drop-off sites in Harris County and other Democratic-led counties. Mail voting in Texas is generally limited to voters who are 65 and older, or older, or who have a disability. In the ruling, the justices sidestepped the issue or of whether mail-in voting was safer in a pandemic, ruling instead that current Texas law wouldn't allow Harris County to send mass ballot applications. Democrats, who believe this year's election is their biggest opportunity in Texas in decades, slammed the decision. The case is among several significant battles over voting in Texas that are still playing out in courts, with four weeks until November 3rd. An appeals court reversed a federal judge's decision to reinstate straight ticket voting in Texas, which Democrats had sought over concerns of voting's waiting in long lines on election day during the pandemic, particularly in large counties that have longer ballots. Abbott had also faced a lawsuit from within his own party over his decision to extend early voting by six days, part of an extra extraordinary backlash the governor has faced from the right wing of the GOP over his handling of the pandemic. In a separate order, Wednesday, the Texas Supreme Court rejected that effort to, to scale back early voting, saying the challenge came too close to the election. The week's, the week's long battle over whether mail-in ballot applications can be proactively sent to every registered voter in Texas' most populous county has not appeared to, damp to dampen interest in the uh, option. More than 200,000 voters around Houston have already requested a mail-in ballot, roughly double the number in a typical presidential election year, said Susan Hayes, an attorney for Harris County. Houston is a stronghold for Democrats, but the surrounding county still includes GOP-held seats that are helping keep Republicans in power in Texas. Democrats are most, most energized by their chances of winning a majority in the Texas House for the first time in 20 years, needing to flip just nine seats to take over the chamber. Harris County officials are implementing a $27 million plan to expand voting access by tripling the number of early voting centers, including seven that will be open 24 hours for an entire day, and adding more polling locations on Election Day. Like other cities with NBA teams, the Houston Rockets home arena, the Toyota Center will also be used as a polling location. And now the City of Dallas' hospital capacity report. This has been Dallas Weekly News. I'm your host, Patrick Washington. You can find these and more stories on DallasWeekly.com. And also follow us on social media on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. And as always, if you can, please stay home, wash your hands, stay safe, and we will see you again next week.